Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I've shown you how to uh, install GIPAW package in Quantum Espresso. And uh, in the following two tutorials, I will show you how to calculate the chemical shift of the protons in benzene molecule. Um, just for your information, the output of, of this GIPAW package is, um, is actually the absolute isotropic shielding, which is uh, written as sigma here. And it is in the unit of uh, per ppm, that means uh, parts per million. And uh, to convert this uh, sigma to the um, actual chemical shift that we observe in experiment, we need to at least calculate two points. So one is the um, sigma of the target molecule, and one is the sigma of the reference molecule. And uh, yeah. So if you calculate the sigma of the target molecule and the reference molecule, you can convert the chemical shielding from here. That is basically the difference of the sigma divided by one minus sigma uh, reference, and then you get the um, uh, chemical shift, which is called delta. And um, yes, so so this formula can be simplified to to the for, uh, to the formula below. The reason is that sigma is usually very small; it is uh, parts per million. So you can ignore this uh, one minus sigma ref here, and then and then uh, this is a more simpli simplified version. So we will use this version, and uh, to to make it more precise, it's better to actually fit uh, like actually have different several uh, reference molecules and then fit. The calculation with the known uh, chemical shift. However, we will just do it for one point here. We will just have one reference uh, here, and then and then the target molecule here. Yes, and um, the reason why I choose the reference molecule here uh, um, as this tetramethylsilane molecule is that um, experimentally this is uh, this defines the zero point of the chemical shift. Yeah. So um, the, uh, all, most of the other molecules have downfield shift uh, with respect to the protons in this molecule. The reason is that if you have a um, um, if you have a element in, with large uh, electronegativity that is connected to this CH three group, it can pull the mo uh, electrons from from this CH three group, and then the protons would be more let's say more naked. Um, and it will see more field, so so the uh, chemical shift would shift uh, to down, uh, to to low field. And um, and in this case, silicon is a uh, element is an element with a very small uh, electron negativity. So basically, the electrons in this CH three group is more or less preserved, and uh, which provides shielding from the from the um, external ex um, magnetic field. And then, um, and then that's why um, th this molecule is more or less one of the most uh, shielded uh, molecule. And and um, f for all of the other molecules, the like nearly all of the other molecules, the chemical shift is is to low field. So that's why experimentally this is defined to be the zero chemical shift. Okay. And so today we will first calculate this uh, reference molecule, and then uh, in uh, in the next video I will calculate the uh, benzene molecule and then compare it with the experiment. Okay, so let's get started. Um, yeah. So just as a reminder, if you haven't watched the video uh, like my last video, and it's the first time that you compile GIPAW. Um, you need to first first make GIPAW in the in the quantum espresso installation because uh, it will not automatically uh, compile when you compile ev everything else. And then uh, in this video, I will also show you that we need to use the pseudo potential files that that come within GIPAW folder. So we will not use the SSSP library because the GIPAW calculation needs some special pseudo potential files. And uh, so the general steps is the is that it's quite simple. You need you first need to do a self consistency calculation using pw.x, and then uh, you need to uh, use a gipaw.x that we compile here uh, to uh, 
to do the calculation of NMR, ESR, G factor, uh, not, uh, yeah, uh, something like that, and all of those calculations. Okay, so let's get started. We first want to calculate the reference spectrum of this uh, TMS molecule. And the first thing to do is to do a self consistency calculation. And uh, you notice that I already changed the pseudo potential file directory to the um, installation of quantum espresso and the GIP folder and then uh, pseudo, pseudo folder. Yeah. And uh, this line means that we want to calculate the force on each uh, atoms. And this is a molecule in a box calculation. So the box is chosen to be large which contains only one molecule inside. And um, the kinetic cutoff energy is set to be uh, large because we want, to, we want it to be precise. So in principle, you need to do a convergence uh, check. So you increase the increase this value gradually and see uh, whether the chemical shift uh, converges to some to some uh, threshold. We are just use 90 here uh, for the for the purpose of demonstration. And no symmetry, we, we say that there's, there's no symmetry, but you can also um, try without this line. And um, it seems that th this is uh, important. Um, it means that the, um, the first step of the self-consistency calculation has a, has a more precise diagonalization. And um, so if, if, if uh, your, your, uh, your GIPAW calculation um, shows some error saying that it is uh, like like uh, like it stops halfway and maybe uh, you need to uh, lower this um, this this uh, threshold here or you can add uh, some uh, a smearing argue argument uh, here that's also possible yeah and for this mixing beta i, I change from the default to 0 0.5 so lower the mixing beta this will uh, will help with the uh, convergence a little bit and yeah so so here uh, i set the convergence threshold to be uh, to be smaller to make it more precise and uh yeah th those are the are the pseudo potential files and also the um, uh, atoms and everything like the atomic positions i uh, i find in the internet so it, it would be a good practice that you also relax the structure uh, before but in this case i just take it from the internet it it will not uh, change um, change much and then the k points is automatically and and one 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 this is a gamma point calculation uh, remember that uh, in if you want to do gipaw calculation you cannot say that uh, k points and write gamma here yeah so that is that's not possible so you need to specify 111 here. OK. And maybe it's also good that I can show you what is the structure of the molecule in x Kristen, And we open the input file of this self-consistency calculation. And uh, press here. And you see, indeed, we have a we have a big box, a small molecule here, and and this is a uh, yeah. There are four CH three group, and this is uh, the center atom is silicon atom. Okay, then um, basically I will not do the calculation here. I will just copy. Um, yeah, I will just copy the output file. Okay, so this is the output file of the self consistency calculation. Um, and to do it, you just run run this uh, this line, yeah. Okay. And then the second step is to uh, do the GIPAW calculation, and this is the input file. Um, you have a specification of the job. We want to calculate the chemical shift. That is NMR. And the prefix should be the same as um, as the self -consi consistency calculation, and the uh, temp dear is basically the same the same as the uh, out dear here. Yeah, you need to set it to be consistent. Okay, and um, this is one parameter. This is to uh, 
to extrapolate the uh, the pseudo potential files and and this is to use the let, let's say we don't use the macroscopic shape of the nmr so basically there, there there's nothing that that we really specify here we just run the calculation uh by this command yeah so this will take some time um it's a little bit time consuming so i will also just copy the output file back so those are the two output files huh? and the information that we need is in this gipaw.out file and uh, just scroll down there are a lot of informations but what you uh, need is is basically here yeah total nmr chemical shifts in ppm okay so this is the chemical shift for silicon for carbon and what we need is for hydrogen so you see that hydrogen is here and um and since all of the all of the hydrogens in uh, on this molecule are equivalent you uh, we expect to see more or less the same chemical shift there could be a little bit error but you see that this is is around 30.38 ppm so we just copy from here <coughs> to here okay so so that's all for today and in the next video i will repeat the process on a benzene molecule and we we can get the actual chemical shift that's all for today and i hope to see you next time